Hey, this is Chris, and I am back again with a brand new trailer reaction video. Today, I'm going to be giving my reaction to How to Train Your Dragon 3, official trailer 1. Sticking with the animated theme with these reaction videos today, and uh, this is one that's come out a, a little over a week ago, I think, now, actually. And, uh, you know, I've put it on the back burner. I've been dealing with a lot of other things that I've had to take care of. Finally get a chance to do a reaction video. And I needed to talk about this movie. I absolutely knew I had to talk about this movie. Um, I'm a big fan of animation for anyone new to the channel. Um, if you're not new to the channel, then you're going to get tired of hearing me say that. And How to Train Your Dragon is no exception. However, the first movie when it came out, I completely stayed away from. At the time, I was very much of a animated movie snob. And I think I'd seen the trailer for it. And I just thought that looks terrible. The humor, the human characters and, ha and the voices and everything like that. It didn't quite mesh with me. So I stayed away from it completely. And uh, I kind of did the same thing with the original Kung Fu Panda movie as well. But I think I was under different circumstances then where I think I had to go to the cinema. I was with my friend and his brother when we went to see Kung Fu Panda. And I came out of that film and I was absolutely in love with that movie. And the same thing kind of happened with this one, although it was much, much later. It had been out for years on DVD. And I think it was on TV one time. And I thought, you know what? Like, this is on a lot of lists of best animated movies. I'll give it a shot. And again, I absolutely fell in love with it. And then at that point, I believe that 2 was already out. So I pretty much just did a double feature, one after the other. How to Train Your Dragon 1, right onto How to Train Your Dragon 2. Um, and had a great time with it. And then since I've watched that second one, I've been dying for this third one. And the thing is with DreamWorks is that I'm sure it takes many years for you know them to actually make their movie. But uh, they don't just rush them out. And I'm so glad they don't do that. They take their time. I think there was um, about, what was it, four or five years? Uh, four years in between the first one and the second one. And then obviously this is going to be five years between two and three. I think people in America will probably get this later on in the year. But for us in the UK, kind of like Kung Fu Panda 3, we had to wait till the following March. So we get this March 2019. Yeah, I just love this story and how it's unfolding. And I like the fact that they've said that this is going to be the last in the trilogy. They are definitely going to keep it to a trilogy. They're not going to milk it like Pixar with Toy Story 4, for example. Um, it's going to be a contained trilogy, and I respect that, and I think that's the right way to go about it. And who knows, if this film's good, then we might have another solid animated trilogy following Kung Fu Panda, um, and we'll have this one too. So I'm not going to keep the intro any longer than that. We're going to get to the trailer now. I'm going to talk much more about it afterwards, but uh, I honestly can't wait for this one. So I'm going to click play. Now. It's a hidden dragon world. Wow. Oh, they're showing clips of the old ones. There were dragons when I was a boy. Where they went, only a few know. Oh, it's the music. Our story changed the world forever. Holy shit. We did it. The Hiccups like a fucking barbarian now. <laughs> Your utopia, maybe. Mine's less crowded and more. Oh, but for some reason, he doesn't age. <laughs> hey, bud, wait up! Oh my God, he's not the only one. She's a light fury. So he's gonna have to say goodbye to Toothless at the end then, and he's gonna go off oh, and be with this sorry. woman. Oh God, it's like the end of Jungle Book all over again. It's like that he must go to fetch the water and then he's gonna have to say goodbye to it's Toothless. Dragon world. Toothless, go introduce yourself. No, bros before hoes, man. No. Yeah, that was kinda of like me too, man. Toothless has a girlfriend. <laughs> I've hunted every night, Fury, except yours. Hand him over. I will never give him up. Then I will destroy everything you love. We are no longer safe here. We all have to disappear completely off the map. We have to fight for their freedom. Come on, Mike. You're nothing without your dragon. Attack! Is that Ian McShane doing the voice of the villain? Kind of sounds like him a little bit. I'll check the cast listing after this. Yeah, they've made it official. The epic conclusion. It's you and me, bud. Always. Oh, 
but yeah, I mean, what more can you say? It looks like everything I expected to be. It looks like it's heartwarming. It looks like I'm probably going to be moved to tears again when I get to see this movie. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else I could say that I haven't already said in the intro, really, that, you know, I've, I've now with these movies, after putting them, after putting off from watching them for so long, having watched them, love these characters, the second one, I'm not going to go into spoilers, but something major happens in the second one, which really hits the heartstrings, and I didn't see the movie going that far with it. Um, I can't wait to see this one. It's going to be sad that it's all over, but I'm kind of glad they're not going to drag it out like this is gonna go out on a bang hopefully now i will say the whole girlfriend thing with a dragon is a little bit of a cliched route to take it i know that these are based on books very loosely based on books i think so i'm guessing that's probably not even a part of the book and they've like they're doing their own thing with the movies it's a little bit cliche and if it does get to the end where you know hiccup has to say goodbye to toothless and toothless is going to be with his girlfriend and he's going to go off and they're going to be the last two night furies essentially it's a little bit cliche. It's going to hit those heartstrings, though, at the end if he does have to say a final goodbye. I don't... I have to assume they're going to do that with the ending because if it's all sort of hunky-dory, you know, Toothless is going to move in with his girlfriend to the village and nothing's changed, I don't think that that would be satisfying. I think it's got to end on an uplifting note, but I think it also needs that sense of finality to it. And I think the only way you can do that is either one, if you kill Toothless, which I really hope they don't do, or two you let him go and be free. Kind of how he was essentially um, before Hiccup met him in the first movie, how he was a wild dragon. Now he can go and be a wild dragon again, but he still has that bond and they've still sort of sown that tension between humans and dragons and um, all will be right in the world essentially. Um, that one shot of Hiccup with a beard um, looks amazing. I haven't modelled myself after him, I swear. Um, but all throughout the trailer, he's clean shaven. So I've got to assume that that's in like an epilogue maybe or that's at the very very end of the movie and a flash forward because he looked a he looked considerably older compared to how he does through the rest of it maybe it's a dream sequence i don't know i'm assuming that's going to be towards the end though perhaps where he finally comes into his own he kind of looks like he's mirroring himself after his father gerard butler's character um, and he is essentially the chief of the village at this point. So, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing that aspect to it too. It'll be a great film. I have no doubt about that. And I can't wait to see another trailer. But um, really, I didn't even need to see a trailer to this film. Like, this movie hits cinemas. I'm absolutely there day one for it. So that'll do it for my reaction to How to Train Your Dragon 3 or How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World. Official trailer one. Be sure to comment, subscribe, let me know what you thought of this trailer. Are you looking forward to it? Are you not looking forward to it? What do you think of this trilogy of films? Anything How to Train Your Dragon related, please do drop me a comment. Many, many more trailer reaction videos on the way this week. I need to catch up on a whole bunch. So look out for those coming out in the next couple of days and uh, gearing up for our next movie review, whatever that might be. I have no idea what's coming out at the cinema anytime soon. It feels like it's pretty much dead couple of months now, at least until Mission Impossible 6, Ant-Man and Incredibles 2. We'll have stuff out on the channel anyway. So please hit that subscribe button, share, spread the word, all that good stuff. And until the next video, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.